Hey, this is Kosh. I'm going to do a demo of the new super user app I've written. Um, the reason I wrote this is because I wanted to have a super user that was one open source, um, completely free. Um, it has a proper support for multi-user environment, which was introduced in Android 4.2. And um, I also wanted one that had a couple options that I'd been missing from other super user applications. So let's dive in and I'll show you what uh, this app looks like when you start up. I made sure to get a proper tablet mode done um, on this so it looks fairly decent on a tablet. Uh, you can see that there's a full log of all the apps that I've been using so far that use super user. Um, I don't have any policies set up which are like automatically approve or deny apps. Let's see what the settings look like. Um, so for settings you'll see um, multi-user policy, you can set this to be only the device owner can use super user. Um, the owner can manage which users can uh, use super user or you can just let um, all users have access to it. Um, I've also introduced a new uh, feature which leverages Android's built-in permission system. Uh, this basically uh, encourages the apps declare a specific permission in their in their app manifest which will then uh, be visible on the Android uh, or Google Play. So it'll be really uh, apparent when an app is a, a root app. Um, we're hoping to, uh, uh, the CM team and I are hoping to make this uh, a standard slash requirement eventually in all root apps um, to assist with the transparency of root apps on Google Play. Um, like other super users, you can also have an automatic response to prompt deny or allow, uh, pin protection, uh, configure the request timeout so if, uh, if an app uh, requests super user it'll timeout automatically after 30 seconds if you don't do anything. Enable and disable logging and configure your notifications like a toast or a uh, or normal system tray notification up here. So let's let's jump into uh, oh, let me let me set this first. I'm going to set up the multi-user to be automatically denied to um, all users so owner only. So let's pop open uh, Carbon and see what see what this new super user looks like. So Carbon is going to open up and ask for super user immediately. Um, you'll notice a new option, uh, remember choice for 10 minutes. That'll basically remember a policy for 10 minutes and automatically approve all super user requests for that period of time. Uh, it's, it's pretty handy if you don't want an app to bother you while you're using it, but don't trust it to not do something shady in the background. Um, I'm just going to choose Remember Choice Forever, and you'll see in the notification area there's a uh, notification that Carbon is now using Super User. So let's go back to Super User and see what happened. Um, here you can see in the log that Carbon was allowed uh, Super User access, and then you can also see the policy that was set up because I, I chose uh, Remember Forever. Um, in this policy, you have more information like the user ID, the uh, package name, the command that was run, and then a full uh, full history of uh, all the logs for just Carbon. And here you can um, disable um, super user logging for um, a specific app, in this case Carbon. So if you want to, if you don't want logs for this one, you can just uh, uncheck that. Um, let's try uh, let's try this new multi-user feature. So I'm going to switch over to my test account. So that's my main account. My test account's here. And remember that I set this up to uh, automatically deny everything. So for anyone that's not the 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 owner of the tablet. So let's try to flash Clockwork Mod Recovery, and this should fail. And it will say an error. And then you'll also get a notification here: Super User Denied to ROM Manager, which was what we expected, and that's good. So let's switch back over and we'll look at what happens when we set it up to be owner managed and when you set uh, super user to be owner managed what happens is that all users or all uh, other users of a tablet can request root access but the owner will need to uh, approve it so let's switch back over to the test account which is not the owner we'll try flashing again and you'll get a notice that ROM Manager is requesting super user and you need to switch to the owner account to approve the request. So we'll switch back over. And remember that there can be a pin protection here on your on your account, so if the owner isn't present, um, it won't be it won't be allowed. So we'll let that user 
um, use ROM manager forever. Um, uh, it'll always be approved. Um, we've approved that app for that user. So if we go back, sorry, I chose the wrong account here. Go back to test. We'll see that the recovery was successfully flashed, which is good. Um, which is also what we expected. If we pop open super user here, um, you can see that ROM manager was first denied at 1144, which was when it was owner only, and then when we set it to 11, um, owner managed, it was allowed when we allowed it. Um, let's see, and then, uh, so it's handy, you have a, you have a, a user specific log uh, when you're using super user from someone other than the non-admin. And then you'll have access to all your customizations here for super user. Obviously, a non-owner can't manage the uh, multi-user policy. Um, but besides that, you can customize your own pin protection if you're if you're uh, the non-admin and timeout and whatnot. Um, but yeah, that's it. The, this uh, this app has been built from the ground up to support tablets and phones. Um, it should run on Froyo and onward. Um, there's also an x86 version and uh, there's a recovery flashable zip to install it. Um, I'm going to be posting this, uh, the installation to the zip on, uh, on my Google Plus uh, page. So you'll have to install it through either ROM Manager or Twerp or manually, however you want to do it. And then um, let me know how it goes and uh, feel free to leave any feedback. Uh, I've done most of my testing on Android 4.0 Plus. So if you're a user of Froyo or Gingerbread, uh, there might be UI bugs and other bugs. So please, please leave any uh, feedback or bug reports in the comments. Thanks.